I'd be curious to know, like, kind of, what do you think about your portfolio? Like, how do you, like, what investments have you liked to see? Like, kind of, what, what, what do you really look at? Um, you know, I, there's, there's, there's things that I, like, in the crypto space or um, in the space of, like, even investing in other artists and, and investing in, in art, for example, there's some, there's a few places where I've like placed my money just to kind of like things that I'm interested in, but I'm not passionate about. Like gotcha. art, I'm yeah. not passionate about art. I like art, but yeah. I've invested That's in art, though. and then That's over fair. the past like three yeah. or four years, like I've made great money investing in art and then letting it sit. Like yeah. you know what I'm saying? So it's you know it's better than having your money sitting in the bank. That's how I look at it, right? Sure. Um, but things that I'm passionate about, building communities, like I said before. Um, investing in myself as an artist, of course. Yes. You know, I spend a lot of money in my own art, um, and I do see returns more than I would see being signed with a label. Um, the crypto space, I'm not fully invested in it. I do have some portfolio for sure. portfolios, but I haven't studied it enough to understand yeah. how do I really make money in this space, yeah. like on a major sure. scale. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. No, I mean, yeah. I think uh, that authenticity is key. Right. So you talked about the art space and you said, you know, I'm not super passionate, but I have been yeah. able to partner with people that have given me a crash course. I yes. got, got some art here. It worked out for me. Crypto space, like I'm dabbling in it, but, you know, like it, it's not something that I'm super well versed in. Like all that stuff, when we're talking about the education process, especially for people that are like us, I think sometimes, um, you know, we're not vulnerable enough. And, and I know that's sometimes a buzzword, but uh -huh. to say like, hey, like, you know, I'm mean, I'm in this, but I don't really know what I partner but with like, this okay, person. But like, okay, for yeah. example, like, how does one? Okay, when it's a new space, yeah. When you first got into it, for yeah. example, you may have this person you trust is a pain. Yeah. That per but how do you know? Without taking a risk on your on your on your yeah. own, if their opinions are valid. valid. So, really so question. Check. How do you make money before you uh, have before, to, uh, before you deploy before you capital? Uh, <laughs> nah. So honestly, because you had to, you asked I, someone, I right? I took the bullets. Okay. Yeah. So I was. This is, this is a little anecdote that like, uh, when I used to look at markets as a kid, mm -hmm. um, and not saying that I like analyzed them and broke them down or anything like that, but I would be like, okay, the bond market was created in what year? The stock market in what year? Like, you know, things like that. And I'd be like, why can't I be a part of something that is, you know, new? Like yeah. the dot com boom, all that stuff. Like, cause I was like, you know, even if Facts. I make it to the NBA and make, hundred million dollars, whatever, that 10% or 8% that I'm supposed to get in the stock market, it'll keep me going, mm -hmm. but it's not going to take me to Rockefeller right. status, right? So I wanted to be a part of something that was the Vanguard or, or something new. So when this came up and I had only put in like Vegas gambling money, it wasn't nothing crazy. I rode the crash up, rode it down. I took the lumps. I invested in BS. Obviously had predominantly a lot of Bitcoin, mm -hmm. but I listened to podcasts or podcasts. Like I would be on the team plane mm -hmm. listening to podcasts while I was watching game film. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes I fall asleep, podcast still running. And so for me, it was just diving in two feet, getting as well versed as possible. And then what happened was, as I started to talk about it, and this is before I had a ton of money in it, right? Right. Like, as I started to talk about it, you just end up organically meeting some of those people. Because yeah. they say, wait, hold on, you're an NBA player talking about Bitcoin? Right. What's going on? And I and I come to them and tell them like, look, I only got in this space two months ago, mm -hmm. like, but I've learned X, Y, Z. Can you tell me more? And then they give you a little bit of advice, and then you get to the next conversation. I've I've been in this space now for six months, mm -hmm. and I've learned about Bitcoin and Ethereum. Yeah. What do you have to tell me? And then you you keep going. You make those connections, and now you know we've been blessed to know like some of the biggest in the space, like Rohan was the leader of Dapper Labs and stuff like that. So and, the people that you say are biggest in the space are these people who have been in since. Inception, like it, since there was a toddler, uh, yeah, or these people uh, who are coming in later, like because no, no. so some of them have like been in since the the beginning, like yeah, 2012, I mean, yeah, yeah. twenty twelve and yeah. stuff like that, and you know, the the owner of uh, FTX, uh, who just uh, raised nine hundred million dollars at an eighteen billion dollar valuation, like people like that who are who are doing astronomical numbers and phenomenal things. And so once you kind of verify that you're interested, you're willing to learn, you're willing to kind of take your lumps and you start getting those type of partners and influence, 
then like it started to kind of really just roll down here because well, okay. also too is like even the last point too on that like just in general i think you any good person that makes financial investments or anything like that like mm-hmm. you got to be agnostic right like you know at the beginning when you're learning about it you can't get overwhelmed and like why does this thing work why does it not work it's more like i need all the information in front of me to make then a proper decision if okay. someone came to me right now and told me that Bitcoin, crypto, blockchain, all that stuff didn't make sense. Highly unlikely, right? There's, I've been in the space enough to know, that, like, you know, to, mm-hmm. to have seen enough to have gone down the path of wanting to commit to it. But, like, I want to know that. Like, I want to know your contrarian opinion. Exactly. Like, do you make sense? Like, I want to know that because I got money in it, right? So, yeah, like, no, you facts. have to be agnostic to that at that point so that you can, you know, make those rational decisions. Well, I'm definitely yeah. going to pick you guys' brain more off camera about it. And, yeah. you know, I'm inspired to, to, to step in more and, like, you know, learn more. 